please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So what am I going to be doing during Royal Ascot? It may sound like a daft question, but uh, maybe not. I just got uh, a text message and this is what it said. And like previous years, um, I'm going to have to decline. I often get invites to large meetings and so on and so forth. But uh, obviously my focus is on trading. I've spent weeks, if not months, looking at this meeting. I've gathered all of the data. I've looked at previous year's results. Um, and therefore, I'm going to put my all into trading it. I'm not going to do a training course. The whole week is blocked out. There's no activity at all in the office apart from trading. Um, I'm not going to attend the event. I'm going to be putting my all into trading it. Why? Well, because it's one of the biggest weeks of the year. When you look at meetings like Cheltenham, like the Grand National Meeting and Ascot, it can yield so much and it's got the potential to do something special that it's just going to have my entire focus and nothing will get in the way of that. And I find it uh, odd. Sometimes you get little comments that come in now and again that question whether you trade or not. And the fact is that that's what I love doing, that's what I'm going to intend doing for as long as possible, and especially around big meetings. Those are always my focus. I can imagine a time when I'm going to hand on responsibility for some of the minor stuff, but I'm pretty sure for quite a few years, for as long as I can, I'm probably going to rock up at the big meetings and do absolutely the best that I can. Uh, simply because, I mean, and, and there are two keys, two key reasons. It's not necessarily just monetary, but obviously you want to do as well as possible, so you're going to push the boundaries as much as possible. But uh, also, I enjoy it. I love the challenge of dissecting the markets, understanding the way that they behave, uh, what's involved with it, how can I make myself better, can I go for a record result, all of those sort of things. And I get a huge buzz out of doing all of that. And the fact is that when you've waited years for an opportunity like this to come along, you always are going to do the best that you can uh, to exploit it. And I feel that the best place to do that is by me sitting here and trading. And also, it's really important to me that I eat my own dog food. Uh, you know, if I'm talking to you out there who are going to give these things a go and to actively do it, then it's so, so important to me to actually be out there doing it myself and, you know, You'll see me regularly talking about things that I'm doing and stuff and posting up the odd screenshots and, and stuff like that. I feel that's critically important. I couldn't live with myself if I wasn't doing it and I was recommending uh, that other people do it or that I somehow benefited from other people doing that. And, you know, it's really, really important to me to be able to sit here and do it. That's what I love. That's what I enjoy. That's what I intend doing for as long as I possibly can uh, or is reasonably practical. And therefore, uh, during Ascot week, I will be sitting here uh, doing absolutely the best that I can, the same as you. That's so important to me. Even if you look at um, BetDAC last year, for example, you, you know that BetDAC is uh, probably one quarter or less of the turnover of Betfair. I can still yield good results from that. And I expect to yield much more on Betfair as well. But, you know, of course, there's the uncertainty about, you know, will that happen? Will it be a good year? Will it be a bad year? Will I make a, a chronic mistake? But that's all part of the mix. That is trading. That's what I do. That's what you're doing or you intend to do. And therefore, it's so important for me to sit down and really give that a good hack. So, well, you know, it would be lovely to go to um, Ascot or, you know, I may want to talk about it. I just feel that doing is the most important thing. That's critical. That's how this whole industry grew up. That's why I'm here. That's why you're watching this video. And therefore, to not be actively participating in the market and trying to do the best that I can during uh, Royal Ascot just doesn't compute with me. I just can't do it. So for the foreseeable future, I'm going to continue to turn down those invites. Now, if you want to invite me, please do so. <laughs> don't stop inviting me. Uh, but don't be surprised if I decline you. And it's got nothing personal. It's just that, you know, the opportunity is still there for me. I still want to make the best opportunity that I can from it and I'm still going to do that for as long as I can. So yeah, I'm going to be here. Hopefully you're going to be active and doing it as well. Um, but rest assured, I'm going to be giving it my all during Royal Ascot Week.